took there from Simeon, and that is the problem for Lee, moving round to his own right against a good hooker. And uh, so, what's the answer? There probably isn't one against Simeon. He, you know, he he's very good at what he does. And they're under pressure again. Oh, the referee getting in there, giving another count here against Lee. Well, he, whatever happens, Lee's going to pick up a silver medal, which will go with his bronze that he picked up in the European Championships proper. Well, Simeon will be buoyant at this stage. Well, Lee not really fancying taking another one of those left hooks, so trying to move, uh, vary his movement here. Simeon, a very strong boxer, goes forward an awful lot. Lee, though, smart. And I, I've got to say, much better in this tournament than he was in the Europeans. So there has been marked improvement in Andy Lee. Well, that's one of the answers, is to duck below that left hook, and that's a lovely left cross there from Lee. And the question to ask now, who's in favour with the officials, the uh, Romanians or the Irish? Not around there for Simeon, but a decent effort from Lee. So two and three go Simeon's way, first round I think went Lee's way. That's it, he probably needs it. But once again, great effort from the Irishman. So Marion Simeon in the red strip from Romania, as I say, an excellent boxer, good puncher, takes a shot too. Lee, smart, quick and improving. And still young enough, of course, to come again. Whether or not he stays in the amateur ranks uh, remains to be seen after the Olympic Games. Um, I suspect he probably won't. Don't forget, Wayne McCulloch and Michael Carruth picked up gold and silver. Or silver and gold, I should say, in 1992. Nothing, though, in 96 or 2000. Can Lee address the balance for 2004 in Athens? Well, bit of a forearm smash there from Simeon. A little wink from the referee, almost to say, thank you for not making a fuss and making my life difficult. Not a bad round, this, for Lee. And Simeon obviously thinks he's got this one one now and doesn't want to take any chances, which might be a false uh, premise, really. Oh, the Irish corner there, told to uh, be quiet. But Lee's boxing well here. And don't forget, it's a cumulative effect on the, uh, the, the judges' counters, which means that, you know, whatever... Come on, ref. Oh, for goodness sake, there's such... Sure. Well, it's a cut on the eye. It's a little nick there. It's not serious by any means. In fact, it might just be on the uh, inside of the bridge of the nose. Nothing serious. And with very little... In fact, no, it's on the eye. And with very little to go in the round... Well, they say box on, says the doctor. That's interesting. And it's awfully difficult to inflict any damage with the head guard on. So there's a very good chance that uh, Simeon may well have sustained that injury coming into this tournament. And it's just opened up again, but Lee's having a good round here. Wouldn't that be fantastic if the Irishman could pick up the gold medal? Because of a good finish, he's getting a good finish. Straight punches, Andy. And that's a cracking last round there for Lee. Well, I've got it dead level in rounds. But, of course, it all depends how the judges have scored it.
Well, there he is then, the 20-year-old Irishman. Has he done enough? It was awfully close, ultimately. Lee won the last round, he won the first as well, I believe, but, uh, well, Marion Simeon, with his experience and ability, you just never know. He's probably the favourite to pick up the verdict here, so I don't want to get Lee's hopes up too high. Here we go. Yes, yeah, Simeon gets it. So he's the gold medalist then, European Championships, sorry, European Union Championships, but what a terrific effort there from Andy Lee. Didn't he do well?